Isabel Levito just off the podium at Worlds. She comes into this event with the 13 points from her silver medal at Skate America. And she said she wants to do better than last season where she had two silvers. So she needs gold to fulfill that goal. of the bends and the landing of the triple H triple toe. Try to avoid the fall in the triple H oil, the triple circle. Hard triple flip double toe on the great secret of execution. Ten and landing the loop. Spellbinding aesthetic on the ice and the White Crow soundtrack to the movie of Rudolf Nureyev. Perfect choice for a skater who has used balletic music in the past so brilliantly. She rarely hits a bad line. The only time she looks unelegant is to take off for her triple loops. 
how much will she bank upon components over the tightness within the program. Said that she wants better than last year. As I said, two silvers last year in the Grand Prix that took her to the Grand Prix final where she was second again, beating Kaori Sakamoto. Now vying to compete with the likes of Kaori and Luna Hendricks. I've loved and so appreciated the seemingly increased confidence and comfort Isabel has competing here as a title favourite. Maybe being the last competitor now, knowing that so many of the women had skated cleanly, could apply a little bit of pressure. To her, didn't sense that at the start. There are the loots. Again, pitching forward to facilitate three clean rotations on the triple loots. Here, that stunning neckline. done into that difficult, difficult transition. And this so brilliantly executed the windmill illusion feature. And it's interesting to consider now how Isabel will move forward as we look at the second loops. Euler. You can see the grimace on her face as she pushes up to make the irritations and relies upon incredibly strong quads to avoid Taking a fall and a minus one deduction. Minus five period of execution there. Reconsidering, she was tenacious, committed, and fought hard throughout. It wasn't a lack of eye and effort, but you can see now she's debating if she's done enough. And I think, fortunately for Isabel Levito, although that wasn't the skate she wanted in the free skate, the short program was strong enough to maintain the lead. She needs 126.98 to lead the Belgian skater, Nina Pinzeroni, who has done incredibly well here. She said that skating with Kurt Browning in Shows and Stars and Ice this summer was part of the different side of skating that she's enjoyed seeing and that the change in mindset that she's been offered. But ultimately, she's a competitor and ultimately she wants to win here. But not just that, she wants scores that will put her in contention with the likes of the two-time world champion Kaori Sakamoto. But that skate won't have been enough for that, but will it be enough to take the title in Angers at the Grand Prix de France? The third on the free skate, she's about to see if that's enough. And a huge sigh of relief for Isabel Levito. I think her coach wanted more than just the win overall. She would have preferred, I think, to see 